Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the last day of Vlogmas, day 30. but right now it's a little after eight o'clock this morning. I just wanted a really calm start to my day, did some journaling, have selected my word for 2023, which is going to be manifest. Um, yeah, so just had a really calm, quiet start this last day of 2022 and this last day of Vlogmas, which something about that feels really right that I extend vlogmas to the last day of the year and like always you are getting this in real time so my new year's eve is your new year's eve i am going to try to wrap up today's vlog by like noon or one o'clock so that we have time to like decompress and just enjoy the evening it's just going to be steven and i but as you know i have like upped the ante but as I sit back and I reflect on Vlogmas this year, I cannot help but be completely overwhelmed by all of you. And this year has just felt so special. And I think it is one that I needed more than you needed. I have struggled this past year with filming and creating content and all of those things. Um, and I think I needed this year's Vlogmas more than you did. Although I hope that you got something out of it as well. I also feel like you guys really got to know me and see me. And I thank you for allowing me to just come as I am, perfectly imperfect in all of those things. But I have had the best time with Vlogmas this year. So we are just getting going. Dogs just came in from outside. Everyone is eating breakfast, all of those things. I need to get my workout in for my trainer because I have tomorrow off, but I need to get today done. Today is body weight and a run, so easy peasy. This one will be a breeze after how hard this week has been. <laughs> the last two workouts, I have been so sore, but I've gotten through them, which 
that's part of the uh, that's part of the journey is just getting through to the other side. But yeah, I'm so loving the New Year's decorations. It's just so fun. You guys are also loving it. But like, there's just something about this. I mean, I, I just am really excited. I'm more excited to see Steven in those glasses at some point today. But yeah, I just, I just have a good feeling about this year and I love the way that we are going out. Right, Bobby? I also folded laundry because that's the content you want. So, I just love it so much. You guys are all obsessed with this and I am equally as obsessed. Let's get this workout over with so it's done for the day and I don't have to think about it anymore as being on my schedule. Oh my goodness. So my workout today was like 20 minutes of um, strength training and then 20 minutes on my Peloton tread. I did a hill and sprint interval. So either you are sprinting on a flat road on courses or you are running up and down inclines like going two, four, six, eight, eight, six, two, uh, four, two. And it was so hard. It kicked my butt, but what a great way to start today. Like a great workout, took time to journal, set some goals. Like it's just what I would want today to be. Like I said, the decorating and all of these things is because I want to go into this year with the energy that I want to attract and like set the tone of how I want this year to be. Um, and I think I'm doing a really good job of that. I'm gonna go get cleaned up and tackle the next thing in our day. I am all cleaned up. I feel so good. I'm not the only one that's gotten cleaned up though. <sighs> Did you get a bath? Did you get a bath? Oh, you look like a drowned rat. Oh, so wet. Daddy said you got muddy on the walk because you were playing. Were you playing? Was you playing? Did your brother get a bath too? Look how tall she's getting, like you can see her when she walks around the island. She is so skinny though. We can't keep weight on her because she's so thin. <gasps> Did you get a bath too? Everyone got baths. <laughs> Everyone's got a second win too. I got a bath, you got a bath. Oh, he's speedy today. Did you get a bath? Did you get a bath? I mean, he is 15 years old. Bubba's. Did you get a bath? 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 No oh, goodness gracious. So we have two clean dog. We have two clean doggies. We've got two clean doggies. I love when he's all excited because it's such a rare thing. All right. <gasps> Did you get a bath? Did you get a bath? <gasps> Did you get a bath first? 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 <sighs> Here we go. All right. Also, these are my favorite workout towels. I'll link them. They are charcoal detox towels, so they're actually good for your skin as you sweat. They're by a company called Face Soft. I just really, really enjoy them. Also, I think I should keep those silver curtains all year round. <gasps> all right, we're gonna get settled in for lunch. And then I'll catch up with you all later. You were looking tired. Because I just walked two dogs for a mile and a half in the park. They got all muddy and I had to bathe them. <gasps> oh no. Both I, of them. Steven has a haul for everyone. Yes. 
So I went to the P.O. box, which is my duty here. And aside from um, all of your uh, cards and stuff for the holidays, I also get galleys sometimes uh, of books that the publisher sent. Those are good covers. So, well, this one is Shubek Lubek. It's upside down. No, it's not, because I just went in and I looked at it. It was written in Arabic. It's a graphic novel. So you read it from right to left. I don't know what it's about. I don't usually do graphic novels, but this one looks sort of interesting. So it says this book was once in Arabic, so it is read from the right to the left. You run out at the end, even though... Are you going to give it a try? Confusing. Yeah, I'll give it a try. It's interesting. I've never seen one like this before. So, and then we have the diaries of Franz Kafka. Who's um, Franz Kafka? He's a realist um, author. Um, see, I'm an English major, so I know this. Uh, he was big um, in the, I think, 19th century. How often do you 18th, use that 20th English century. major in your job? A lot, because oh. I write a lot. Oh, that's true. And yeah, I that's true. And edit. You, and you edit my emails. And I edit your emails, <laughs> so I, I would say it's quite frequent. Um, I got a card from my Aunt Judy, a Christmas card. Um, and the Hall of Halls, I got eight more COVID tests. How many do we have now? Uh, I don't know. I can't count, but a better safe than sorry. That's, that's um, why you were an English major. Because you can't count. Um, so I got eight COVID tests, two at the PO box and two at our house, uh, so that we're all set in case there's another epidemic or another pandemic or that the pandemic gets worse. It's an endemic. Well, we're, we're safe. So I thought I had, if you need, if you need free COVID tests, the, stop. If you need free COVID tests, you can go at COVID.gov. They're now giving them away and they stop for a little bit. Now it is time for Steven to give away his tea advent calendar. Um, it's Vlogmas Day 21. Thank you for those who told me. We're going to randomly select by the search word T, and then we will connect in the comments of this video and get information and share via email privately. And Steven is going to personally send this out to you. I love going to the post office. All right. Start raffle and pick winners. Click on that. Winner. Organized, organized pen, pen addict. addict. I want Not that, that, tea, <laughs> that yeah. tea calendar pretty you please. please. So, Organized Pen Addict, you are the winner out of 245 entries. So, so we will connect, and what else do you have to say? How do you connect with Organized well, Pen we'll Addict? Well, we'll comment, well, I'll find her in the comments and then reach oh, out to okay. her. So, well, or maybe it's a him. Or him, yes. Um, so, uh, yes, I will personally uh, wrap this up and mail you the tea calendar that is not... A, it has not even been, well, it's been open, but yeah. the tea hasn't been open. So, 30 days of Vlogmas, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm glad it's over. Um, there have been some harrowing, time, the harrowing times. There's Emphasis been some on the hair. Stress, dogs barking, but I'm glad everyone had fun, and I will see you <laughs> soon. With that, I'm going to end Vlogmas 2022. It has been a joy. And I thought I would end it by reading my journal entry to you from this morning. This is what I wrote. This is the first page of what I hope will be many. It is the morning before the new year, the last day of 2022. In the following pages will be the chronicles of an amazing year. I'm hoping for growth, change, and acceptance. I'm hoping for fresh starts and new adventures. I'm hoping for deeper connections. I'm hoping for health and happiness. I realize I'm using the word hope the word I should be using is manifest. In fact, that will be my word for the coming year. Manifest. Verb. The skill of raising your vibrations through positive thoughts and meditation to attract what you truly desire. Here's to 2023. May it be my best yet. And may it be all of our best. So I will end Vlogmas 2022 as I ended every single day. Well, except for the days that Stephen chose to end it, which were probably your favorite. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will hopefully be sooner than later, bye-bye, friends.